Hi, Sunday School Kids. So this week's lesson is Abraham. Now, we've got a few stories about Abraham. There's a story about Abraham and Sarah, and there's Abraham and Isaac. So I've got a few little books you guys can listen to on YouTube. So we have God Calls Abraham, God Calls You. So you can listen to that one on YouTube. You can listen to Abraham's Big Test. Looks a little interesting, right? And we've got one more. Abraham, Sarah, and Isaac. So, you can find out why these uh, people who look kind of old have a little baby. Well, this would be Abraham, and this is Sarah, and this is their son, Isaac. So, the story of Abraham and Sarah go like this. So, Abraham and Sarah lived a long time without having any children. God saw how faithful Abraham and Sarah were. He told Abraham one night to... Look at the stars, that his family would be as numerous as the stars in the sky. Finally, God granted Abraham and Sarah with a son that they named Isaac. Then God told Abraham to sacrifice his son, his only son. So he took Isaac and some wood. He made an altar and Isaac asked his father, where is the lamb? Abraham told him, God will provide. Just as Abraham was putting Isaac on the altar, God told him to stop. He showed him the ram that was nearby in some brush. In the Old Testament, animals were given to God to remind God's people that a life had to be given so that they could be forgiven. Today, though, we remember that Christ was our lamb long ago that we are forgiven because he died for the sins of the whole world and we rejoice that he rose victorious on Easter Sunday so we no longer have to sacrifice an animal at church <laughs> thank goodness for that right um, Jesus was our sacrifice so that's it done deal so our crafts this week if you've got some pretzels and some shredded wheat, you can make a little altar to remember your story. So you can kind of crisscross your pretzel rods. I'm going to try and do this fairly quickly. And you can stack your shredded wheat on top. You can put some on the outside. I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing, but show you as soon as I am done. So you can just kind of make a little altar. So I've got my pretzels down in there. I've got my shredded wheat built up. So you can just build a little altar with that and you can eat it too. Our other fun project is a star that I've made you guys. Um, and if you are just watching along for some reason, you can cut out a cardboard star, wrap it in tin foil. I also added some bumps in here with hot glue on the cardboard, and then I wrapped it in tin foil. So you guys can color this. I highly recommend using Sharpie, but paint would work too. Regular like Crayola markers does not work. So Sharpie does, and paint will work. So try one of those two methods. And I would love to see your stars that you can make. And then you can just tape this up on the wall. And remember, you are one of those numerous, numerous stars that was promised to Abraham to be part of his family. So I think that's kind of amazing too, right? So we are stars. And remember your altars. And eat them. <laughs> Have a great week, everyone. Bye.